Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, it's got a little special unboxing here. Uh, this is part of my community cryptic project. And if you haven't guessed already, it's going to be a Necron Lord. And this came from uh, Zach Carnage. He had a subscriber competition. And uh, surprisingly, I didn't actually win it. Nope, I didn't. Um, it was won by Invasive Ramnus. And um, the prize was uh, basically to have a, a do a miniature um, up to about £15 um, and Invasive Ramnus won that and then uh, a few months later he had his own competition where he actually gave away Zach Carnage's prize and guess what? I won that. So effectively I won both competitions. <laughs> um, anyway, um, in the description I should put a link to both Invasive Ramnus's channel Go and check that out. He's an awesome channel. He's got some great tactical videos for Blood Angels um, and for Tau and lots of other stuff on there as well. And of course, check out uh, Zach Carnage's uh, channel as well. Awesome guy. He's just uh, moved house, so he may not have some many videos going up um, at this moment in time, but uh, they will be coming. And he's got some great content on there, lots of ta tactical videos for Necrons and stuff on there as well. So go and check him out. Right, on to the unboxing. And as you can see, I've got some artwork here. This was done by Zach Gunch's girlfriend, um, and what fantastic artwork it is too. Um, it's got a sort of uh, Reaper Scythe here, which um, I'm very much looking forward to seeing that conversion done. So without ado, let's um, get this baby unboxed. Right. I have taken it out of the Jiffy bag, um, but I, this is the first time I've seen it. So let's have a look at it. I know that Zach's done a lot of green stuff work on here, which um, he's you know fairly um, new to green stuffing, I suppose you could say, certainly in the quantity that he's put on this miniature. So um, from the video that I've seen, it looks amazing, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it. And uh, of course Zach does play Tau as well as Necrons, and uh, he's got Chaos as well, I believe. Right, here we go. We have, first of all, the Resurrection Orb, which is, um, I really like this idea. He's magnetised this to the base to give me the options, Orb or no Orb, uh, which is a really good idea. And oh, this is this looks amazing from what I can see. But as you can see his little scythe. Let me open this a different way so I don't damage anything. See him in there, it's very tantalising this. <laughs> uh, right, here we go. Right, he's got to come out now. He looks intact, Zach, so you don't have to worry about that. He was a bit worried it might get damaged in the post. Wow, buddy, that is awesome. Look at that fella. That's absolutely wicked. I love the purple in there as well. It's got a green stuff cape blowing around in the wind. And this is obviously all converted from, from his bits basically, bits box. He's got some green stuff feet and they've come out really well, Zach. Um, they look like proper feet. Let's put on his magnetised piece. There you go. Absolutely loving him, mate. I think he looks fantastic. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I know you put a lot of time um, into this guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pictures up next um, at the end of the video so you can have a closer look at him. Um, but yeah, I'm well, well chuffed with him. Fantastic. Right, okay, so yeah, don't forget, go and check out both of those channels for me. Links in the description below. And uh, here's a few pictures. Thanks for watching.